morning everyone and welcome back to another hiking mission so just a couple of days ago i was at castle howard and today i've traveled down again and i'm coming to the yorkshire arbitorium which actually sits right next door to castle howard i uh, did intend to actually do both of them the other day but you know what it's like i always end up walking quite slowly taking it all in um, so definitely you need the whole day to do castle howard um, so i'm here today as you can see it's a little bit a little bit cloudier up there we don't have the blue skies that we had the other day but hopefully we're going to be uh, looking at all the different plants and flowers here and there is a little red squirrel enclosure as well so fingers crossed i might actually get to <laughs> take a photo of a red squirrel today right off we go
everyone so I've just been walking around the woodland garden hopefully I've got some nice uh, flower shots so I'm now going to head over to the red squirrel enclosure hopefully I'll be able to see them and get them on camera we'll see off we go So I'm just stood in the squirrel enclosure. There's a lot of lovely little birds about, um, but unfortunately I think the red squirrels are fast asleep in their little boxes. There's quite a few about. There's one just up in the tree. Uh, there's some more hidden over there. So I'm going to keep walking. I might come back just in case they happen to suddenly appear, um, but it's probably just catching them at the right time. So in front of us here we have Iran service tree, complex hybrid found wild only on the Isle of Iran. There's only a few hundred wild specimens of this attractive small tree are known growing in Glen Catacol on the Isle of Iran, first found in 1797. chestnut tree. It was a really useful tree introduced by the Romans. They introduced it to Britain for its edible nuts which could be roasted and eaten whole or ground into flour.
then we've got the shag bark hickory <laughs> what a name for a tree shock resistant timber used for wagon wheels and axe handles edible nuts um, excellent firewood aromatic smoke are all derived from this handsome tree its common name refers to shaggy flaking bark of mature trees our specimens are not yet old enough to show this feature. So these are the Ermans birch trees, they're from far east Asia and they certainly are striking, you can't miss them with the colour of the bark there.
So this is a white willow. It's the source of aspirin, an extract from the bark now known to be salicylic acid has been used to reduce pain relief and fevers and it must have been known or at least its properties known about 50,000 years ago as it was found in the remains of Neanderthals with bad teeth. And I'm making my way back to the entrance now. As I say, it's only been a short wander. It's mostly been about taking photos for me today, but I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll pop all my pictures at the end. Hope you like them. Thank you all, and I'll see you on the next mission. Bye for now.